she spoke on Kishane like pretty early. I remember like mm -hmm. he's been this good and he just got hurt. He's about to do something crazy this weekend, and that yeah. was right before Jamaican Charles. Yeah, and when I when you know we were in the interview and they set out fast he run. I said, I hope he stays injured because I know that he's had a hard history with injuries and that every time he runs fast, he usually has to be taken off because he usually hurt. Well, for right now, if you're okay to be curious, like, share, and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future video uploads, and drop a comment. No one else, Junior Bloomfield or Bromfield trending. Let's take a look at why. The information with uh that they're going with elaine thompson hurrah or, or hera mm -hmm. for um you know with her transition of going from you know within mvp and then you know going getting coached with with her husband i would have liked a little bit more info there but i thought that was cool as you know in american i don't see as much track and field media in jamaica i don't i'm not as well versed of you know what's going on on you know with with them and so it was uh so for what i'm seeing here colin waits man is giving his perspective on the lack of information that's in track and field he was he thought that you know in terms of era her split from the coach and her husband taking over as coach was a little bit hush hush if it was the usa it might have been a little bit more information out there for them to use now i think no one like no else would have been in a position where he was chiming in and said all right you know what i have information i am privy to information due to the fact that i have a little bit of a jamaican in me actually in his house it's funny you say that because you know janelle being jamaican and having trained in mvp i've been getting the drama from jamaica in camps for at least five years now um there's a lot of times where i make references to jamaicans it's not i'm just not saying it because i'm like trying to go back and forth it's because i know information <laughs> so no one else is saying that seeing that he has a jamaican girlfriend he had been getting inside information he has been getting the drama he's been getting the tea and his girlfriend coming from the mvp camp which camp is bigger than the mvp camp in jamaica think about it that camp have a lot of athletes athletes that are unknown athletes that are known athletes that are world class athletes that are absolutely amazing um known or unknown so he had been getting the inside information therefore he feel like he's in the know in the track and field because jamaica is still the biggest where track and field is concerned janelle and elaine used to be very close friends like they were training partners through 2021 very close uh then she was extremely close with sharika she's still very close with sharika you know you see her in the in the series doing sharika's hair you know that that's that's sharika's wig woman right there you know <laughs> she's already you know she was just buying wigs for sharika to bring to the olympics uh yesterday like um and even talking about like kashane oblique like you know she's close with kashane i've known about these a lot of the jamaicans that are on the underground that she and usually her janelle's eye for talent is very strong if she says that somebody's gonna run fast they usually run fast so i'm very hip to information that a lot of people is just like oh this came out of nowhere mm, no nah, i, I kind of saw it all right so noah lives is kind of just hyping himself up a little bit showing that hey bro i have the inside information and this is because I have the inside. I have a girl on the inside. This I don't think he's saying that she's spilling the tea, but it's that he has a girlfriend. He's in track and field. Jamaica is a track and field capital of the world, so to speak. And they are just having conversations. I think that if you could ask any athlete partner about information on Jamaica and track and field, whether it's the drama inside or out, they would be able to tell you. Jamaicans would be able to tell you. It's only that Noah Lyles here is saying that, bro, we have, I, I have, it's like a drama right now. You can just imagine that this guy is only interested in anime and track and field. And he have access to the most entertaining side of track and field. He's an entertainer, he's running, he's the world quote unquote fastest man. He's there with, he's there with. A lot of the the best. He's the, he's the best. He consider himself the king, and he has a queen. Actually, it's a pretty, it's a really nice girl. One thing, the only thing that he have prettier than her is the nails. Now let's continue. She spoke on Kishane like pretty early. I remember like mm -hmm. he's been this good, and he just got hurt. He's about to do something crazy this weekend, and that yeah. was right before Jamaican Charles. 
Yeah, and when I when you know we were in the interview and they said how fast he runs, I said I hope he stays injured because I know that he's had a hard history with injuries, and that every time he runs fast, he usually has to be taken off because he usually hurt. So the fact that he was able to keep going is like, oh, this is great. You know, he's actually being able to show his full potential. So there you go. I think you have a slip of the tongue there. No, I said that before the Jamaica trials. Junel already told them that they are expecting that Kishane will be going very, very fast because he have a history of going fast. So the only problem is that usually after he goes fast, then he usually pick up an injury. So I think Noel has a slip of the tongue there when he said, I, I hope he stays injured. I think he wanted to say, I hope he stayed healthy. But you can see that from the interview on the day, he was very concerned. He's like, whoa, Janelle told me about this guy now. My chances of winning this medal is going through the door. You know, he started trembling there. You saw his eyes shaking, you know. Yeah, I, I, I just think that there are a lot of misunderstanding here. The guy and the girl having conversation. I wouldn't put it past no allies to, to try to sneak information out of her. It's within his best interest, you know. Athletes are doing it. The coaches are doing it. Imagine an athlete run their best race and then the, a coach grabbed the tape and they started to decipher everything. They're breaking it down. They're looking at the problems. They're looking. They're trying to find anything. They're trying to look at their medical report. They're trying to look at their, their training plan. Whatever the edge they can find, they're looking for it. Therefore, having a girl coming out of a camp like the MVP camp with access to the top tier of athletes the Elaine, the Sharika, the Kishane, the Asafa, whoever it is it's valuable information and now Elias, he have it with him right there this is a good example of what not to do but this is an example of what is being done if you are with a guy or a girl you'll be telling them things that you probably wouldn't want to be telling them otherwise, you know this person is from a different camp and you are from one camp you're sleeping on the same pillow you'll be talking about things, you know that's what I think happened here. I don't think it's just absolute malicious intent. I think Noah Lyles is trying to flex on Colin and Noah Williams here and saying, you know what, bro, I have inf inside information. I'm in the know. I roll with the big dogs. I'm a big dog and I roll with the big dogs. I have a girlfriend who is a big dog. So the fact that he was able to keep going is like, oh, this is great. You know, he's actually being able to show his full potential. I don't think that Noah Lyles really is excited that he's able to show his full potential no i do believe that he's very concerned and it is showing however i'm sure that he's motivated because not only that he's concerned he's getting the inside information he's knowing the, the level of the athlete he's knowing where they're at in their training but he cannot predict how they will show up i'm sure that he have the information information is key information is key it's a good it's a good position for Noah Lyles to be in. A bad position for his girlfriend to be in because now that they're looking at her as a little troll, they think that <laughs> she just he, he, Noah Lyles ain't trying to try. It's, it's like a Trojan horse. You know. It, it 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 looks away. But if you think about it from a person, like just a couple's perspective, you're talking about things. Junel is just bragging about her country. She's trying to let him know that, bro. Even though you're great, we have people who are greater. We have people who are running faster times. We have people who you do not know about who is stronger and faster and fitter. Noah Lyles is saying, oh, wow, I know about things that you guys don't know about because my girlfriend told me about these things. She's bragging about how great her country is. Noah Lyles is bragging about how great he is because he had a girl from the great country. That's what I think is happening here. Drop your comments down below and let me know what you think. I'm going to let this end the rest of this interview here roll just so that you may see where the conversation went and where it was going that's like having that insight of no i've been known that this 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 cat's uh that, that, that they're pretty he's good or, <laughs> yeah you know, he's, he's been around so it wasn't breaking news to me I, i've, I've yeah. seen this type of talent coming you know exactly. how uh no were you about to say something yeah i was going to just quickly get to like like jamaican track twitter <laughs> like, it's like the most toxic world it's the most toxic world you can get in track and field like drama field and toxic and just like shots being thrown accused uh, accusations are being made a lot of times about him but oh, uh, of course it's because i'm winning of, a lot of fun going to a jamaican track track twitter there you'll have a great time yeah i had to come off twitter for a while just because of that it was just 
it was just too much even even not just jamaica because i expect it from jamaica i mean they're, they're a little conflicted right now because you know i'm dean janelle right but i have a good relationship with them to be honest at the end of the day it's just a rivalry and people are you know i expect the rivalry to be hot you know just like us is going to cheer for me i expect the jamaicans to cheer for you know their people you know it, it's it's a rivalry, and then everybody wants to take shots at the king so you know why you on you're always going to have a target on your back but I think I was more shocked of, I don't know, the, the toxicity from the U.S. on their own people. Like, it was, like, I was literally on Twitter one day and I 